Hello and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Marta and today I will be taking some inspiration from the TV series The Witcher and uh, to be precise, it's Jennifer of Wengerberg that I'm taking inspiration of because she always has this beautiful smoky eye with a dark green to teal eyeshadow on and I just love shades like that so I just decided to do a video on it and my boyfriend was also saying like why don't you do a video on this <laughs> so that's why I'm sitting here today and I did this makeup inspired by Jennifer of Engelberg's makeup on the TV show The Witcher so if you want to see what kind of shadows I used to create this look then please keep on watching so the eyeshadows that I will be going into today are a couple ones from here it's antimatter all of these are from Colourpop by the way so this one is the shade Antimatter and this one is Wishful Winking uh, so those are the ones I will use as shimmer shadows and I did just swatch them so this is how they look like on my fingers and what I did to achieve the the color that I feel like she has on her eyes is that I first tapped down Antimatter and then I just topped it off with Wishful Winking so I feel like that gives a little bit of that color uh, transformation that we see during the different episodes because I think that she's wearing these eyeshadows or these tones for several of the episodes and for the matte shadows I will want to use a cool toned brown as a transition shade and I think I will lay this down first just because if we look at how her eyeshadow looks like you don't really see like it doesn't have much color the matte shadows it looks like she has a gray or a black smoked out look or something so I will first just lay down this this uh, cool toned brown this one is from Luxie Beauty and it's in the shade Dolce I'm sure you have a lot of different ones especially in palettes these are very usual and I will also just use a little bit of black and then I'm going in with the black one from my big Colourpop palette which is called Let's Do It and looks like this so it's the shade Let's Do It as an eyeshadow base I only have my Makeup Revolution concealer it's the Conceal and Defined concealer in the shade C1 and I'm just making sure it's blended out so that I have a nice canvas to start my look on and now I'm just going in with I think I'll be using my Kaleidos makeup brush it's the S2 brush it's basically a medium sized blending brush and I'm just taking some of that shadow and I will just be tapping it down and I'm not going too high up because it doesn't really look like she has eyeshadows quite high up so this is just going to be a light trans transition shade we can see on this photo right here I'm not sure if you're able to see it but hopefully you can but the eyeshadow is a little bit winged out right here and she doesn't really have too much matte eyeshadow on the inner corner so it looks like the shimmer shadows are sort of just blended out into the crease so uh, when I'm applying the black shadow now I'll be just using a bit of a smaller blending brush this one is from BH cosmetics but it does yeah, it actually does have a number, it's number three. So I'll just be taking this one and I'm just barely tapping into the black shadow and I'm just starting it almost just on top of the lid so that I can blend it gently down. And even though she doesn't really have much on the inner corner, I feel like black is a very good shade to have as a base for the shimmer shadow so that they the duochromeness really comes through and uh, I did see that because I searched for the makeup artist of uh, Jennifer and it did say on a site called uh, thecut.com or something that they used Charlotte Tilbury in the shade wait 
they used Charlotte Tilbury's eyes to mesmerize in the shade Cleopatra, which is sort of a teal duochrome, which looks quite light. So probably they did use some sort of a black base or something to layer that on top of. So I'm just gently winging this out. And on her look, it doesn't really look like everything is very, like I won't say that it's not blended, but it more look li looks like that the shimmer shadows are like dragged a bit over the crease. And I think that's maybe part of the look because obviously it's not based in the 20th or 21st century. So it just makes sense that it doesn't really look too blended out. Now I'll just be going in with uh, that first brush that I used and I will take just a little bit of setting powder just to make sure that the concealer base is set on top here just so that I don't take any of the product too high and then it's stuck there because the base is wet. So just making sure that is set. Now I'll just be adding a little bit more of that black here almost to extend the lash line a little bit because it does look like it's a little bit winged out almost. And I'm not taking too much product because I don't want it to be too dark because it doesn't look completely black, it's more grayish. And it's not really high up here, it's more concentrated towards the lid. Obviously the look is going to look quite different on me because I do have a different eye shape than the actress does. But it does look like it's sort of like it goes from here a little bit down and then it wings out a little bit and it's really hard to see if it's down to the lower lash line but for me personally to make this a look that I can actually wear I will just blend it out a little bit down here now I'm just taking that same transition shade and I'm just going over that black shadow to make it not as dark as it was. Just taking that same brush with the black again. I don't have any more product on it. I'm just blending it with whatever is left of the brush. Just to like make the look fit my eye, I'm just making sure that when my eye is relaxed that you can still see the shape of the eye shadow going a little bit up and then down. So it's just about relaxing the eye because I always do like this when I do my makeup just to make sure I get into the crease. But this is how it's going to look like. So it's important to relax the eye a little bit so you can see how it's actually going to look like. So I'm starting to feel quite happy with the matte shadows. I think I will go in with them a little bit after applying the shimmer shades as well just because it looks like she might have just even blended out the shimmer shadows as I said so I think I'll just say that this is fine for now and I'll just do my other eye with the same matte shadows and then I will go in with the shimmers. Now it's time for the more or most crucial part of the eyeshadow. It's time for the shimmer shadows. So I will just be going in, as I said, with the shade Antimatter first. And I believe I will just try to at first just use my fingers to apply it and then I will see if I will need to use a brush. But I think that using a finger is nice because you get um, a little bit more of a messy application, I would say. Plus it will be quite uh, pigmented. So I will just try that. So I'm just taking the shade Antimatter here. As you can see, it has a blackened base, but then it has teal sparkles or shimmers throughout it. It's a little bit sparkly, which is why I like to, or why I wanted to use, use the other shade on top, just because her uh, eyeshadow, Jennifer's eyeshadow, is not super sparkly. So I'm just taking my smallest finger here. So this is how it's looking on my finger. And then I will just apply it right onto here, trying to catch any fallout that might come by just tapping very close to the eye. 
And I'm just, I know you can't see very much of this application, but I'm just trying to like lightly blend out the edges. I'm dragging it a bit because I have a very hooded eye and I still want the shimmer shadows to be slightly visible when I have my eyes open. So I'm trying to look straight forward and then if I still see the shadow then it's where I want it to be. And I don't think it's bad to like drag it up a little bit further just because if you don't get too much product then it just looks nice to have it blended out. And I think I will be using the same brush that I used for the black eyeshadow afterwards just to blend out the edges even more. So now we have the shade Antimatter here. I think maybe for the inner corner here that I might have to use a brush. So now that I have that one, I will just clean my... And now I'll be taking the shade Wishful Winking, which is more of that emerald green. But this one has a blackened but more warm toned or more grungy brown base to it. So I'm also just taking that with my little finger, really packing it on there. And this is how that's looking. So I personally think that this looks a little bit too... I wouldn't say dull, but a little too... too green and... Yeah, I feel like it was a little bit more teal in the eyeshadow look. So I will just be adding this one on top. And I'm not trying to like um, make this one uh, go over the other so that we don't see the other one. I'm trying to like tap and almost mix them together. I see that I have eyeshadow on my nail and that's what's coming here, but I will just clean that off later. Okay, so now we have the shimmers laid down. I will just wipe away all of the fallout because I do have some. Now I will firstly just be taking the brush that I used with the transition shade and I will just gently go over the top and I'm barely touching it just so that I have the tip of the brush going into the shadows and blending them out a little bit. Especially here, I don't have much of those matte shades, so I want to just disperse the shimmer shade a little bit more. Because they do have darker bases, which is perfect for this look. Other shadows that would be great for this is the shade Secret Garden. I think that would be perfect for this look, Secret Garden by Makeup Geek. But I don't have it here because I'm not at home right now, but I will definitely be checking that out if I want to do a look like this again. So I'm quite happy with how this is looking so far. So I think I will just go ahead and do the same thing on my other eye. So I just applied a tiny bit of the um, ultra glossy lip from Colourpop called Dumpling that I applied on my lips just because she has super nude lips and I have a very limited amount of lip products with me. I'm still on holiday so this one is just a neutral gloss and it's a little bit more peachy or orange so I just took a tiny tiny bit and I feel like it's quite nice to have a nude lip for this look. Now I'm just taking the shade Wishful Winking and I'm just blending it into the inner corner so that we don't have a empty space right here and she doesn't have an inner corner highlight or anything like that so I'm just going to Blend this one down here and then basically the eyeshadows we're done with. So I will just go ahead and use my black core crayon from Linda Halberg and I will just use this to, um, yeah, I can just show it on video actually, I will just use it like this to cover my light lashes here. Inside my head It's getting me in 
trouble, baby, and I can't break away. This is how my finished look turned out, and I do really, really like it. I really love colors like this. I have other colors that look quite similar. I have colored rain in the shade Forbidden. It's a little bit more forest green than this, but it also has a black base almost. It's a stunning shade, so pigmented. And then I also have Secret Garden by Makeup Geek, which I think would have been perfect for this look. It's just a bummer that I don't have it here with me, so I could have used it. Um, and yeah, I don't really remember any other shades right now at the top of my head, but there are a lot of these kinds of shadows out there, so you don't have to have the Charlotte Tilbury one in the shade Cleopatra just to create this look. And if you do have some um, lighter pigments or something, then you can just use a black base to get the same teal uh, shiny effect on the eyes. So I really hope that you liked this video and that you liked this look. Please comment down below what you think of it and if you're watching the TV series The Witcher and if you like it. And if you want to see more content from me, then please subscribe to my channel and hopefully I will see you in my next one. Thanks for watching. Bye!